Hi, and welcome Hi. to Integrity Cells and Services. This afternoon, Dave and I are going to do a very nice video for you of a fresh trade-in unit, 2001 Freightliner Century Class, 70-inch double-bed sleeper truck. Folks, Dave's going to fire up this big, powerful Detroit engine, and then we're going to let you check out the actual engine oil, the blow-by, let you hear it run up close for you to be able to see that I know it's a big, heavy, mild truck, but I'm telling you, for the price we got on it, someone's still going to get a lot of life out of it. With that, Dave's going to pop the hood open, and we're going to walk up close and let you get a nice view from the engine compartment. We'll let you see the oil, and I'll let you check out the blow-by of the engine. Let's walk on around with Dave here to the passenger side, and we'll get right on here with it. Okay, Dave's going to open up the filler cap and let you have a look at the blow-by. Then he's going to pull out the dipstick tube. Take a look at this engine oil. You can see it's what you'd expect, just typical black diesel oil. No sign of any milky stuff on the stick. And take a look at the blow-by of the tube. Very, very little blow -by. With that, Dave's going to return the stick and he's going to shut the truck off for us so we can hear better in the video. And while he's doing that, I'm going to start right here and focus on the side of the tire. You can see we have nice aluminum front wheels. Walking up close, you can see we got about 70% tread on this steer tire. And I'm telling you folks, this truck is a fresh trade. We have not washed it. We have not cleaned it. You are seeing in its absolute honest work clothes. I am not about to hide anything from you in this video. I'm going to give you close-up detailed pictures, and I'm going to call it all the flaws. Starting right here, you can see we got a nick missing out of this bottom fairing. Folks, let's move up onto the engine. The main thing, the main thing to make money is the engine. And I'm telling you, this is exceptionally dry for a million mile truck. It's not dripping and it's not puffing out of the blow by. Let's walk on around and get you a repeat view of that from the driver's side before we close the hood. Okay, again, nice aluminum rim to match the other side. 60-70% rubber. And again, folks, look around. Sign of a new air compressor, signs of a remand starter. Very clean frame considering it's not been washed. And folks, Folks, what you're looking at here is a 12.7 liter, 500 horse Detroit. With that, Dave's going to close the hood and we'll continue with the video. All right, let's start out right here at the front of the truck. Folks, I'm going to walk up close and I'm going to show you that this bumper has obviously been bumped a few times. You can see it's separated a little bit on the plastic joints there, separated a little bit on this plastic joint, very slight crack here in the hood, but I'm telling you, overall, folks, for the money, it's a power buy. Look at her sitting there, big, tall, right, white, and ready. All right, let's walk on down the passenger side of the truck. You can see the, the cab itself is nice and straight, very clean. It's not been polished, waxed, or shampooed. Let's get up close. You can see the fairings are all intact. Again, a little chip out of the front corner. With that, let's move on back, let you have a look at the exhaust system. You can see they did maintain the stuff that was important to pass DOT. It's very nice up through here. No sign of black around the joints at all. Air ride cab, take a look at the back of the sleeper bunk. It's in very nice condition. Take a look at these frame rails, folks. Again, no degreasing or washing has been done. We're looking at the drive tires right now. They're sitting here at approximately 50% rubber, and they are not exactly matched tread. We have some straight treads and some gripper treads on here, but they all possess a very nice tread. Take a look at them for yourself here in the video. I'll go very slow, and I'm going to repeat that so you can see them very close up. With that, let's move down and get you a shot. You can see there we have 70 80% brake pads remaining. We have evidence of some new spring brake chambers. Obviously, they have to well. Back off now and get you a nice view of the back of the truck. Look how tall she sets. Nice and straight. Mud flaps, everything intact. With that, let's pass on around here to the driver's side. Again, you can see we have nice painted rear wheels. Very respectable frame. And again, coming forward, take a look at the driver's side of this cab, folks. Sleeper, cab area, all in nice condition. Again, a few scratches on the fairings. And this front corner also has a little chunk missing out of the front fairing on the driver's side. Come on up here on the hood. You can see we have a very nice hood on the, on the driver's side. Take a look at the windshield area. No glass cracks. Very nice visor. Convex mirrors all intact. With that, Dave's going to open the door, and we'll get you a nice shot at the inside. Okay, walking up, take a look. We have a manual crank window on this side. We have power mirror and power window on the passenger side. Folks, take a look. The seat cover's all intact. Yes, she's a little soiled. She's been sat on for a million miles. But I'm telling you, 
I'm impressed at how it looks for having somebody on it for a million miles. Very, very respectable. Even the floor mat. We haven't swept it. We haven't done a thing. This is how it came in off the road. So somebody obviously cared for their truck. With that, folks, I'm going to turn this key and fire this truck up. I'm going to let you check out the oil pressure on this engine as well. Let's go ahead and crank her over here. Okay, as you can hear, she comes right to life. Voltmeter, everything works. Let the gauges reset themselves. You can see right here what we're looking at. We're sitting at about 115, 115 degrees, sitting at about 40 pounds of oil pressure at flat idle. We're sitting there at about 600 RPMs. All right, let's bring some throttle into it. Take a look at this pressure gauge on the oil. I'm telling you, she doesn't hesitate to hit about 60 pounds at about 1800 RPMs. Folks, the odometer digital part is reading 399, 167, and let me scroll through here and get you the ECM miles. If you look at the ECM miles on this truck, you are looking at, let me get to it, 1,377,382. And I want to show you something else impressive. Let's get back out of this and let's look at our fuel economy on this thing. 9.2 miles a gallon. Now, folks, I know that's not been pulling a trailer the last few miles, but that is phenomenal. 9.2 miles to the gallon. With that, I'm going to shut the truck off so we can hear better in the video. I'll give you a nice overview of the inside of the cab. Yes, you can see we got the cover for the ashtray missing, and this cover right here is missing, but otherwise, the interior switches, knobs, and dash all appear to be intact here. Take a look. You got the passenger door window that's power. Take a look back at the bunk. The upper bunk is folded up right now. It is a double bed sleeper. We have the floor to ceiling cabinets on the passenger side. And on the driver's side, we have the upper cabinets with the space for the refrigerator and the hookups down below. We do have rear heat and AC controls, and we do have rear dome lights. With that, folks, I'm going to go ahead and work my way back out of the truck. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you thank you for shopping with us at Integrity Sales and Services. Thanks for shopping. And I'm telling you, if you got any questions that we missed, please don't hesitate one second to give us a call at 260-238-5000 or visit us on the web at www.99trucks.com. Have a great day.